train. Just fuck you. <clears throat> I just got up. It's so fucking hot in here. Because of the fucking metal roof. Metal conducts electricity and thermal energy. It's fucking... Feels like fucking hundred and some odd degrees in my fucking bedroom. My hair's all the fuck over the place. Woo! I need a better place to be. I <laughs> really fucking do. So when I got up, I decided to watch Jim Sterling go on about, uh... It's Facebook. What is this video he's got? EA CEO defends loot boxes, promotes accessing games over owning them. Yeah. Like I said before, and like the message that Jim Sterling's trying to convey to everyone, no matter what happens with EA's loot boxes or um, any of the trends, fucking trends going on in the gaming industry, the OG gamers like myself and my friend get fucked over. And all these fucking 13 and 8 year olds these days, those aren't gamers. Those are just bitches running around in the fucking shitstorm that is the, the gamescape. The online live service fee to pay bullshit that's going on these days. <sighs> you hear me, you fucking idiots? You're not gamers. You've perverted the word gamer into a fucking slur and a piece of shit. It's an insult. I'm fucking insulted at all of you. I've been a gamer since I was two fucking years old. Back on the Atari 2600 with the wood finish. I'm a fucking OG gamer. Fuck all of you. And especially fuck the bitches I grew up with. Who are in the fucking industry now. Fucking it over for everyone else. Anyway, this this fucking bullshit that Jim's talking about, this shouldn't fucking be happening. He said one thing in the first two minutes of it that pops out, and it's a fucking insult and a slap in the face to OG gamers like myself. He said for years, the industry has been pushing a fucking narrative on everyone, claiming that players demand a fucking uh, social interaction in games, yet when a single player narrative driven game comes out, it succeeds wildly. And we have the fucking numbers and statistics to back this up. It succeeds wildly and massively outperforms in sales and in fucking YouTube content as opposed to the fucking bullshit like Fallout 76 and Anthem. Yeah, fucking live service bullshit. They're pushing this narrative on everyone because they think in their fucked up, demented, shitty ass, corrupt little minds that if we push it on people long enough and we make it into a fucking mantra, they'll believe it. Then it'll become the truth that matters. No. No, it fucking won't. 
The only thing you will succeed in doing, you fucking idiots. Andrew Wilson, Bobby Kotick, the whole fucking lot of you fucking morons. Todd Howard. Every last fucking one of you morons. The only thing you will succeed in doing is destroying the fucking gaming industry. And that's exactly what you're fucking doing. Think about it, everybody. They're rushing out all this bullshit, all these live service models. If you don't fucking believe me, just fucking pay attention. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to read your goddamn comments. You're all fucking mongoloids. <clears throat> your opinion doesn't fucking matter. It's goddamn wrong anyway, so just shut the fuck up. And pay attention for the next two years. Just watch shit happen, okay? Yeah, sit your fucking ass down, shut the fuck up, and watch what's happening. Go watch Jim Sterling. He's dug into this shit more deeply than I ever will, because I see, you know, two or three layers beyond the surface bullshit, and I'm like, you know, fucking, what the hell is wrong with you idiots? Jim Sterling, he digs through this shit. This massive fucking shitstorm of these goddamn monkeys throwing shit at you. And he tells you exactly who's throwing the shit, what type of shit it is, what it smells like. And I'm just like, dude, Jim, what you doing over here? It's good. Because you're pointing out all this bullshit. I'm not going to dig through that shit. Fuck that. I just want to play my fucking games and enjoy them. Is that so much to fucking ask for? Quite honestly, what I really want to do is I want to get the, the fucking Zelda games back. Yeah. Yeah. This one dude commented on a previous video saying uh, the word I forgot was franchise. I want to get the whole fucking Zelda franchise back. Probably not going to get the one that used Wii controls. But all the way up till Twilight Princess on the GameCube. Yeah, because, you know, fuck Wii controls. That's just bullshit. It's fucking convoluted. And fuck Breath of the Wild's item durability bullshit. Zelda never had that, never fucking needed that. Nintendo, what the hell were you fucking thinking? Why were you, why were you putting that in? Were you chasing a fucking trend that was in the fucking industry from some other fucking idiot? Because, you know... I've never seen uh, a fucking Nintendo, uh, Nintendo made game come out before that that ever had that fucking bullshit in it. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, everybody, go, go fucking watch Jim Sterling. Wrap your fucking stupid little noodle around what's really going on. And, and don't fucking leave any comments on this video. I don't want to fucking read any of your bullshit. You're all far too ignorant, dumb, stupid, naive, and moronic to be allowed the privilege of communicating because all you do is push your stupid little bullshit on everyone else because you're so stressed out and you don't fucking realize it. I, on the other hand, see it clearly. You're all under a great deal of stress because everyone's doing stupid shit to you, including your fucking parents. And yes, it all is fucking relevant, whether you want to believe it or not. So don't give me your bullshit. Give it back to the people who have given it to you. Go watch all of Jim Sterling's stuff. Wrap your stupid fucking noodle around what's really going on. And we'll proceed with something else later on. But for right now, I'm fucking exhausted. Oh, would you look at that? 
Just a few more seconds and I'll hit that fucking 10 minute mark. Why the fuck not wait it out?